My brothers and my sister, I welcome all to another moment with the Lord. Remember, this is Fishing Out the Lost Tools in our evangelical program. Now, like we've said previous time about which we've tagged, which is reconnecting back the light. Remember, we've said it over and over that you are the light. Now, looking at the same Genesis 1, we've, we've touched 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, looking at the word, verse 18 itself, and the Bible says that, before I go to what the verse 18 says, I want you to take a second and think about something. Now, I was meditating in my prayer time, and the Lord revealed something to me, and it's a little bit um, shocking to me that the only way we can um, become that which we said is by the words of our mouth. Uh, uh, if you want change in your life, you must say it. Now, saying, having the depth understanding that the language of the heaven is stronger, Having the depth to understand that the way you can communicate to the things of the Spirit is by tonguing it out. If you want change in your life, you must tongue it out in the Holy Ghost. If you want change in your life, you must say it, and sin must be in the Holy Ghost. Now, I've seen great ministers of, 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 of mine that, that, that takes hours in times of praying. They are praying what they want to see. They are praying what must happen to their life. They are praying the change. They are praying back the, the, their life to God. They are connecting back. Now, a foundation that you have no knowledge about cannot become a solid ground for you. Take that from me. A foundation you have no knowledge about can never become a solid ground for you or a ground that you want to build upon. Now, remember, Jesus is the only foundation that you can build upon successfully. Now, as we all go on, I pray for you that this, this year, God will give you the strength and the enablement to become that which he has said about you. In the name of Jesus. Now, Genesis 1 18. The Bible says, I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. The Bible says, to rule over the day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good, fitting, pleasant, and he approved it. Praise the Lord. Now, let me let you know something. Remember, you are the light. God has seen your life. God has seen you and he has approved it. And don't doubt it. If you think you are what you've looked down on yourself, you've underestimated yourself, you've dropped out of school and you think nothing can happen to your life anymore. So many people have said negative words about your life and you are, you are condemned and you are okay about it. No. No and no and no. I can tell you, my brother and my sister out there, youth and teenagers out there, my parent, woman, and abroad, don't agree on those negative words. The Bible says in the, in, in, in the book of, of, of Genesis 1.18, it says, to rule over the days, over the night. God has given you a light. God has made you a light to rule by day and by night. I can tell you, don't accept those negative words. Don't don't look down on the ability God has imparted in your life. Don't look down on the things God has said about you. It might not have come to pass right now. You might be thinking this delay, but there's some procedure you need to go through that this particular word must go through. This particular word must come to pass in your life. And it says, and it separate the light from darkness. What do you think? You are the light. There's nothing darkness want to do with you. There's nothing those negative words want to do with you. Those words that people have used to underestimate your ability, nothing got to do with you. Until you realize that you are a light and you must stand up so strong, rise above those negative words and say to yourself, I am the light of God. I shine so bright above everything. I can tell you that's when this word of the Lord can stand so firm in your life. I love what the word, the, the good news said. Good news said that it said to rule over the day and the night and to separate the light from darkness and God saw it and it pleased him. My brother and my sister have the youth and teenagers don't accept the things that happens in your household. 
if they don't graduate in your house or don't accept it if they don't get married in your house or don't gra don't accept it if they don't give birth in your house don't accept it you must come out the bible said it says separate see i love what the bible says in that place after, after, after it said you are the right to rule over the day and night and it says something it said and separate the light from the sea you must separate your light from those darkness those darkness in your home that you say that this is how we do it in our household this is how we do it in our home we have we have ability for delay god forbid we have we have we have time t tendency for delay uh we, we we are we are we don't we die young no we we have a particular disease that passes you from fathers to fathers no you as a light you must shake it out in prayers i told you when, when we started this 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 particular one i told you that what you want to see you must say it what you want to become must be said by, by your mouth I feel like praying for you right now that everything that is causing negativity in your life, I demand right now and I command right now, let there be separation in the name of Jesus. I pray for you right now, whatsoever that is holding you bound in your house, that say that these are the things that happen in my household and, and, and it must happen to you generational. I decree. The Lord said, let there be separation from the light and the darkness. I separate you now in the name of Jesus. Whatsoever that is holding you bound, there's not getting you to get married there's not allowing you to give it to your own child there's not permitting you to get admission there's not permitting you to, to, to be promoted in your office there's not giving you there's not giving you the fruit of the labor giving you the things you want today by the word of the lord today the bible says in the book of genesis verse 1 to 18 18 says it said he said to rule over the day and the night. I, I I demand I demand right now and I pray for you right now the power to rule over day, the power to rule over night rest upon you in the name of Jesus. And the Bible says, separate the light from the darkness. Rato shakataboshia, whatsoever that is holding you together from the from from, 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 from God, holding you together, not allowing things to happen to you. Allowing the good things that today I decree, let God separate you. The, the people that you're working with that is, that is not allowing you to be separated, allow you to fulfill destiny today, the Lord separates you the home you are, the relationship you have the office you are, the job you are doing that is not permitting you to fulfill destiny today, the Lord separates you in the name of Jesus, because the Lord said you are reconnecting back to him in the name of Jesus remember you are a light and God has commanded you to come out to be separated from those friends, those colleagues that family, that home, that darkness, in the name of Jesus. Remember, reconnect back the light, which is who you are. I pray for you one more time. That whatever you've lo you've lost throughout this year, the beginning of this year, the Lord will connect it back for you in the name of Jesus. I remain my humble self, your brother, your prophet, having slaughtered the Inca Okumbi, known as Omari. Stay connected. You are a light, and the Lord is set to bring you bright above everything they can ever imagine in the name of jesus god bless you